Welcome back everyone. They may not have the record they would have liked, but the Lakers have still been getting great production from a few of their role players, with the most notable one being Austin Reeves. I'm really not joking about that either. He's now becoming a top tier role player for them, and one that provides value on both ends of the court. Although, with all that production, will eventually need to come a bigger contract, and according to Javon Buha of The Athletic, Austin Reeves could be getting a contract larger than Alex Caruso. And if you are not aware, Caruso got a 3 year, $37 million contract from the Chicago Bulls, which was significantly more than what the Lakers were willing to offer him. Now we don't know for sure what they offered him, but it was not anywhere near what the Bulls offered him, and letting him walk has definitely come back to haunt them. We all know how last season went, and while I'm not saying that Caruso alone would have fixed everything for them, him being there would have helped them dramatically. And the same thing can be said for this season. They have constantly been shuffling their role players, and letting Caruso go has been a big factor in that. Luckily for them though, they were able to find a similar, albeit slightly different player in Austin Reeves, who has now proven to be a vital piece within their rotation. On the other hand though, they could soon be dealing with a very similar situation to the one they dealt with with Caruso, and one that as many Laker fans worried about their future with Austin Reeves. He will be a free agent after all, and we all know how difficult it can be for the Lakers to retain their key role players, with that being shown through their failure to retain Caruso. Will it really play out the same way though? And how different or similar of a situation are we looking at here? We will talk about exactly that in today's video. Without further ado though, let's dive right into it. And we'll begin by comparing his production to similarly performing role players. Doing that should help provide us with a better understanding of how much money he could be worth. And in order to calculate that, we are going to be using the wins above replacement metric from 538. Now I'm not saying it's the perfect way to evaluate a player's value, but it is fairly easy to follow, and generally a good way to compare production between role players. And if we take a look at where he ranks among other role players, and specifically with those who are on their second contract, I would compare Reeves to Derek White, Chetty Osman, and coincidentally, our boy Alex Caruso. They range between making roughly 8 million, all the way up to over 17 million this season, and if we average them out, their salary is worth about 10.8 million. I think that would be a pretty good estimate for how much Reeves could be valued at. He might not be as valuable compared to Derek White, but I would put him above Chetty Osman. Again, they are not a perfect comparison, but I do believe that would be a pretty basic way to estimate his worth and especially with Reeves only getting better. Between Derek White, Chetty Osman, and Alex Caruso, all three of them are 28 years old, or will be by the end of this season, but Austin Reeves will only turn 25 in late May, and unless they make the NBA Finals, he will very likely end the season at 24. And with that in mind, you could make a case for him being worth even more than the $10.8 million average I mentioned before. Luckily for the Lakers though, they likely won't have to worry about that, due to the Gilbert Arenas provision, which limits the amount that other teams can offer a non-first round draft pick on their second contract, he won't be able to get what he is probably worth. I mean, the Lakers could theoretically offer more than that, but other teams will be limited to whatever the full mid-level exception is worth, which is projected to be worth around 11 million. Now, don't get me wrong here, that is definitely not a small amount of money, but with the NBA's salary cap projected to rise to about 130 million, that is pretty much a bargain deal nowadays. A lot of fans are comparing his situation to Crusoe, but in reality, it's much more like the one they're in with Taylor Horton Tucker, and despite him no longer being around, they did end up giving him a new contract. If you don't remember, they gave THT a 3 year, $30.8 million contract, or in other words, the exact value of the non-taxpayer mid-level exception. And I would be willing to bet that will likely be the path they take with Austin Reeves. They know that other teams cannot offer anything more than that, so I doubt they would offer anything more either. They will simply match whatever contract is thrown at him, and if he ends up getting offered the maximum allowed amount, that will come out to around a 3 year, $33.3 .3 million contract. And in my opinion, that would be a steal for them. Any team would love to have him on that contract, and I can't imagine they would say no to offering it. Now, they obviously would like to have him for a bit cheaper, but the way that he's been playing so far, 
I really doubt they'll be able to. If we take a look at his current stats, he is putting up 11 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and then shooting incredibly efficient all over the court. Whether we are talking about at the rim, from the mid-range, beyond the arc, or even at the free throw line, Reeves has been absolutely great for them. In fact, he is currently on pace to finish very close to a 50-40-90 season, and if you don't know what that means, that is referring to shooting at least 50% from the field, 40% from 3, and then 90% from the free throw line. Believe it or not, Austin Reeves would become the first player in Laker history to do that, and while he is not guaranteed to do it, it's looking like a very real possibility for him. The difficult part will very likely be the 3 point shooting. He is already great at finishing near the rim, and then he is practically automatic from the free throw line. Although, going from shooting 31.7% from 3, to then having to shoot over 40% would be very difficult. I mean, even shooting above 35% from 3 would be good, but shooting over 40% would be great. He can tend to be a bit hesitant at times, and that will lead to him having off shooting nights. He is still growing into his role, and we cannot fully expect him to shoot above 40% quite yet. Regardless though, all of that efficiency is proving why he is worth a contract of that amount, and honestly even more than that when you factor in everything else. No, he is not quite the defender that Caruso is, but he is still productive on defense nonetheless, and then when you factor in his production on offense, he can make for an incredibly valuable role player. Like I referred to before, Austin Reeves' value on the court compares to players who are making far more than he is right now, and even more than he will likely make during his second contract. The Lakers should not have a problem retaining him either. Between the Gilbert Arenas provision, them having nearly 40 million in projected cap room, and then with them owning his bird rights, they have literally no excuse to not give him a new contract. To wrap everything up here though, despite the current fear with losing him, the Lakers are in a great position to not only retain Austin Reeves, but to bring him back at less than what he is truly worth. Again, it might seem like a lot, but getting him back at a contract worth around 11 million per year is not a bad deal, and it really was not hard to see this coming either. With all of that being said though, what do you guys think? What kind of contract do you believe Austin Reeves would be worth? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.